Hi, today we will learn about three important uh, ligaments and folds that are seen in the posterior aspect of the anterior abdomen wall and these three are these names. One is the median umbilical ligament, medial umbilical ligament and the lateral umbilical fold. So what you are seeing here uh, is the posterior view of the anterior abdominal wall and in that that means you are looking at the anterior abdominal wall from behind okay that means from within your abdomen you are looking at the anterior abdominal wall uh, now here you can see a very important landmark of the anterior abdominal wall that is the umbilicus umbilicus uh, will uh, kind of divide the anterior abdominal wall into a supra umbilical region above and an infra umbilical region below in the supra umbilical region you can see very important structures for example this is the falciform ligament a sheet like membrane that uh, uh, you know, connects the anterior abdominal wall and the diaphragm towards the anterior surface of the liver and in the lower free border you can see this cord like structure okay this cord like structure is the very important ligamentum teres hepatis now i made a previous video on the falciform ligament and the ligamentum teres hepatis and you can refer that first uh, below the umbilicus you have the infra umbilical region and that is exactly the region where you can see these three structures the median medial and the lateral umbilical folds so here in the midline you can see uh, a structure that is connecting this pelvic viscera this pelvic viscera is the urinary bladder and the urinary bladder is connected by this uh, this cord this cord is connecting it towards the umbilicus and that structure is known as the median umbilical ligament now it's easy to remember because median means in the center uh, you know in the road there is a median that divides it to the left and right median is also a central tendency value so it's kind of means that it is in the middle so you have a single median umbilical ligament and that is connecting the apex of the bladder towards the umbilicus the next structure that you want to learn is the medial umbilical ligament. Medial umbilical ligament is located just lateral to it. Now, often uh, along with identification of these two ligaments, you will be asked about what is what are these two structures a remnant of? Okay, that is a very, very common question. Median umbilical ligament is a remnant of the uracus. Uracus is uh, derived from the allantoic diverticulum so both can be answers uracus or allantoic diverticulum is what uh, obliterates to form the median umbilical ligament now lateral to that as i said before you have a pair of medial umbilical ligaments and medial umbilical ligaments are basically the remnants of obliterated umbilical arteries umbilical arteries now uh, if you remember uh, the umbilical vein remnant Okay, umbilical vein remnant is the ligamentum teres hepatis. It was uh, dealt with in a previous video. So that is the umbilical vein remnant. And these two are umbilical artery remnant. And uh, it's interesting to note that you have two umbilical arteries going towards uh, the umbilicus. And one umbilical vein uh, bringing blood away from the umbilicus. So all these three vessels are converging towards the umbilicus and you know that if you take a section of an umbilical cord, for example, if this is the umbilical cord, you will have a collapsed umbilical vein and two umbilical arteries. Okay, those three structures that you see in the umbilical cord are exactly the three remnants that you see in the posterior aspect of the anterior abdominal wall. The two obliterated umbilical arteries and the obliterated umbilical vein. Now, uh, we'll come back to the topic. Lateral to the medial umbilical ligament, you have the lateral umbilical fold. Okay, uh, the lateral umbilical fold is created not by any ligament, not by any obliterated structure, but by the inferior epigastric arteries. That is what you are seeing here. These are the inferior epigastric arteries. So you can see that the median umbilical ligament is throwing a fold over here. Median umbilical fold. The medial umbilical ligament is uh, throwing a fold here. That is called the medial umbilical fold. And here you have the lateral umbilical fold created uh, not by any uh, ligament but only by the vessels so these three folds are basically folds of peritoneum because the deeper structure underneath it is throwing a fold in the parietal peritoneum so that's why you have the folds over here 
All right, all these structures are important, especially for a surgeon and especially for a laparoscopic surgeon. Now, this is a, a procedure of laparoscopy where you are uh, inserting, where you are introducing a trocha into uh, the peritoneal cavity and you will insert a camera and you will view into the posterior aspect of the anterior abdomen wall. This exact structure you will be, the structures you will be seeing if you insert a camera like this uh, into the peritoneal cavity through this uh, laparoscopic ports okay in that view you will uh, understand these three uh, sets of folds and the fossa that are associated with it okay these fossa are between the median and the medial you will have the supravesical fossa it is named supravesical because it is just above the bladder okay so this fossa is the supravesical fossa now over the lateral aspect of it as you can see here you have the lateral umbilical uh, fold the lateral umbilical fold will contain the inferior epigastric vessels inferior epigastric vessels is a, are a very important landmark when you consider inguinal hernias or inguinal canal anatomy so uh, this uh, structure this uh, uh, the inferior epigastric vessels is going to divide this part into a medial and a lateral inguinal fossa these are two concavities that you find uh, medial and lateral to the uh, lateral uh, uh, la lateral umbilical fold or the inferior epigastric vessels and uh, this divides it into the medial and the lateral inguinal fossa this again uh, this exact structures you are seeing in a laparoscopic perspective uh, here you are seeing the bladder this is the bladder above that you can see the median umbilical ligament the medial umbilical ligament and the inferior epigastric vessels which is throwing the uh, lateral umbilical fold Okay, now you can see the supravesical fossa here, the medial and the lateral inguinal fossa on both sides, flanking both sides of the inferior epigastric vessels. So all these anatomy are important, especially for a laparoscopic anatomy, surgical anatomy perspective. So thank you.